What is good art? What is bad art? Who gets to determine this? For me growing up, dance was my main form of creating art. I would tap for hours exploring sound, rhythm, and new steps. The studio where I spent my time was more of a safe artistic community for me than any place in school. In fact, in seventh grade, my art teacher used to gather our art every week and divide it into piles of good and bad. The problem with using qualifiers like good or bad when talking about art is that it alienates people. Children can grow up thinking that they aren't artists when in fact, they just haven't found a safe artistic community to create in. Safe communities are created through relationships and trust between teachers and students, and also through art being taught as a subject equal to all others. These safe spaces can be created in art classrooms, in music classrooms, or in dance studios, wherever students are creating art and learning about it in depth. First, when there is trust in the classroom, students are more willing to take risks and create art that means something. When risk-taking is allowed, students move away from ideas of art as good or bad and instead create art that can have personal meaning or that is integrated with another subject. Secondly, art should be taught as equal to all other subjects. This means that students will understand art as fully as they understand math or science or English and receive quality instruction in all facets of art. Just like there is no good or bad math, when art is taught equally like the other subjects, it isn't qualified but instead is understood at a deeper level. When these two ideas of safe communities and equal art education come together, a greater goal is achieved. The ultimate goal that teachers are striving for is that students take the skills they learn in art and transfer them to other aspects in their lives, as well as becoming better critical thinkers. An example of this would be the students going to a museum and thinking critically about a piece of art they see, or seeing a dance and analyzing it using the elements of art. Ultimately, this idea of transfer and critical thinking stems from communities, quality art education, and art integration, and leads to no good or bad art, just better students.